So today we're here uh, at Nautic Central in Southport. I'm with Ben Curley, who's the uh, workshop manager and head mechanic, and uh, Anthony's my name from Maritime Safety Queensland. We're going to talk today a little bit about um, inboard petrol engines and the management of those safely. Ben, you've seen a lot in your career as a uh, marine mechanic on inboard petrol engines. Could you share some of the stories that you have with us? Sure, Anthony. Um, one of the most common things that we see in the workshop is with the 12 volt system, um, customers going trying to save a few dollars between automotive starter motors and alternators and things on their on their engines. Quite often, they're not an ignition protected um, system, so if you do introduce fuel into the bilge, they have the potential to ignite that fuel, where a marine specified starter motor or alternator won't have that. Um, another another real common one we see is people putting their own dual battery systems into boats, um, not protecting those batteries properly, switching systems, not bringing over things from the full drive market into the boat, um, which are always uh, spec for marine use, um, not fusing cables properly and things like that, that's a common one. Um, another thing that we see all too often now is um, people using ethanol in open fuel breather boats. Um, so big problem with ethanol on some of the older boats, especially carburetor boats, is it can actually attack some of the rubbers in the fuel pump diaphragms and things like that. All this leads to uh, a good maintenance regime and getting to know your local uh, uh, marine mechanic and uh, getting a relationship happening where you can uh, do some sort of uh, maintenance plan. You'd agree? Oh, absolutely. I, I believe you know uh, most boats should be uh, ski boats, wakeboard boats should be serviced every 50 hours, um, 12 month interval. Absolutely, before you take it out for the service, get it in, get your fuel tank checked, um, get your service done. A lot of guys doing it themselves aren't pulling the floors up, aren't having a look at these fuel tanks, mounting for fuel tanks, conditions of fuel lines, conditions of carburetors and things like that. Um, it's critical stuff. Um, we've seen more and more of these fires every year and less and less of these older boats coming through our shop. So, um, you know, really need to get on top of that if you're an owner. So today we've discussed uh, safe operation of inboard petrol engines, particularly in weight boats. We've also uh, talked a little bit about uh, some do-it-yourself risks and why you should get a really good uh, relationship struck up with a uh, marine mechanic and, and be proactive about um, maintenance and a maintenance regime. So I uh, thank you very much for your time, Ben. You're welcome, Anthony. Happy to help. And uh, see you again soon.